Okay, so I, I got I found online some Mathematica code from um, somebody named Peter Young at UC Santa Cruz, and we're looking at a really simple example here of um, Newton's method, but for complex numbers. So we're going to do the exact same thing, uh, but not for real numbers where we can draw the graphs, but for complex numbers where it's a little bit harder to visualize the graph. Mm. So we're using imaginary numbers here, and what these maps, what these graphs are showing is if you start, so this is, sorry, sorry, I got ahead of myself. This is for the map z squared equals 1. And that has two roots, plus 1 and minus 1. Right. right? Yep. And if I start on the left-hand side of the complex plane, I always end up at minus 1 if I use Newton's method. If I start on the right-hand side of the complex plane, I always end up at plus 1 if I use Newton's method. Yep. And then maybe on this line in the middle, which is probably the imaginary axis, we don't quite know what's going to happen, but that's all right. We've, we've found, we found samples of individual points in before that where we didn't know, but it looks like this is pretty simple. We start in the right half, we go to the minus one, start in the left half, we go to plus one. But now I'm going to do it for three roots, so z cubed equals one. What is z? Uh, oh, this is like solving x cubed equals oh. one. Okay. And uh, sorry, for complex numbers, usually we use z. So there's going to be three roots here. Uh, harder to know exactly what they are. In fact, I'll do it for four, just because we know what the fourth roots are. What are the four number? What are the four complex numbers that when you take them to the fourth power, you get one? So you have one minus one, you have i, i and minus i. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what do you think? What do you think this map is going to look like? I mean, I know this is a completely unfair question. We've got a complex map. We're looking at all the complex numbers. We're using Newton's method. Some of the points are going to converge to i when we use Newton's method, some to minus i, some to plus 1, some to minus 1. What do you think it's going to look like? I think we'll have four equal sections yeah. somehow. Yeah, I think it's going to just going to be equal. Just maybe a line along the real axis. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to run. Huh. That is weird. We get fractal. Sorry, I tried to make it bigger, but I think you could it. Let's see. So we get these regions like we found with, a, with our graph, where you get regions where you go to a root that's actually kind of far away. Hmm. So this the green must be all the points converging to i, yeah. minus 1, minus i, and 1. Yeah. But I get some points all the way down here that converge up there, some points here that converge up there. What do you think about this? Hmm. Pretty strange. Like, you have these like tiny, tiny pockets of numbers just kind of on the sides, bigger pockets that converge all the way over there. Yeah. What do you see here? Uh, yeah, I think I, it's weird because there's just like, even like up here, there are some numbers that just converge all the way down here or over here. Like, Maybe I can zoom in. It seems like these big pockets on the sides, they're the colors the, on the left hand side, it's the, re the red, mm -hmm. which goes to the, the re big red region, and then on the right side it's the purple. And I think it's like that for... I don't think this is a true fractal, because if you zoom in enough, you're eventually going to get to a point where you get down to individual numbers, mm -hmm. and that's, I guess that's where it would stop. How far do you have to zoom in to get to individual numbers? Well, how far are we zoomed out now? <laughs> well, this is a graph from uh, minus 2 to plus 2, essentially. But I could zoom in on a point over here. Like, I could, like this is probably around the point 1, 1 here. Yeah. So I could do from, I could, let me do from point 9 to 1.1 1 .1 on the x-axis. Point 0 0.9 to 1.1. 1 .1. So that says the reals go from 0 0.9 to 1.1, 1 .1, and then the imaginaries go from... 0 0.9 to 1.1 1 .1 also. So hopefully we're going to be zooming in somewhere around here. So we should see a diagonal line across there. Oh, yeah, we did. I guess this is what we're, we're trying to zoom in at. I don't know. Maybe. Well, 1.1 1, 1 would be right in the middle here. But yeah. yeah. So what do, you, what do you think? What do you see here? We've got the same... It's almost like a spade pattern. It like gets progressively smaller and smaller as you approach the origin. 
and I could zoom in even farther 0.99 to 1.01 .01. 0.99 1.01 Hmm So it's like just one individual fractal block and it seems like there's it's just like these kind just of all the borders all the borders are the shape Yeah Let's go one more in So it kind of looks like 1.1 one, one is a very interesting point Yeah, yeah that looks, that's probably a calculation error, so maybe I'll, I'll increase uh, this to 300 plot points. Is that just you can't render that? Yeah, we might be just zoomed in so far that it's it's having a hard time. I'm not, I'm not actually sure, but I think you get the idea of what's going on around Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. still. <clears throat> zoomed in so far that the, the colors like, actually blur together. Yeah, it could be the case. So what do you think? What do you think about this? It's like a pretty neat graph and it kind of shows you that for the complex numbers this method isn't perfect. What do you mean it's not perfect? Well, you've got just like sections of color where the numbers go to different places. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Yeah, it's and it's surprising how complicated it is even with four. Like we have these we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve different bands of color that are just approaching one point. Yeah, and those what the color is showing is which root it goes to. Yeah, yeah and then, but even like within those bands, we've got place we've got places that it doesn't go to that band; it goes to other bands. Uh huh. And those are always there, no matter how far you zoom in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, hey, good work this morning, guys. High five. Good job.